EO was cracking, guys. You read that title correctly. We're doing uh, The Button again. But this time it's where Cody Ko is The Button. If you don't know what The Button is, it's a game show where The Button talks. These people go on a little quick couple-question date, and they get to decide if uh, the person they're dating has to leave by pressing the red button. You can instantly make them get off their seat by pressing the red button faster. It's kind of what it's all about. I haven't seen Cody Ko. I haven't watched a video of his in probably since I started YouTube. Because we make somewhat similar content, or at least he used to back in the day. I don't want to, like, flood my mind and possibly say something they said type shit. So I don't really watch, like, other content creators, like, reaction channels and shit. But this should be good. He's pretty funny. And way more popular than me. But I don't watch these before I talk shit about them, obviously. And if you've never seen me before, hi. Read the about for this channel. Okay, let's go. Welcome to The Button, a speed dating show. When the button lights up red, either player may press it and swap out their date for a new person. Somebody commented saying that they should have, they should press the red button, then they have to get up and leave. Because if you press it right away, you just get a new date. That's a win-win. Get out of here. If two people can last on a date for 10 minutes, they win an all expenses paid second date. To where though, you know? You guys are going to the movies. In this episode, we have a special guest who's gonna be voicing me. I'm Button, fan, critic, aficionado, Cody Co. Oh, is that all it takes? <laughs> hey, the Button, cut. You know how he's doing it, but me, I want to do it. Here to voice it for the first time. This is the Button. <laughs> oh, I think the voice is still deep. It is. Yeah. Whoops. Sorry. <laughs> They're pulling the first people. I get that he's a part of this, but is this how people feel when they just want to watch the show and then I come in cutting in between the show? I want to see them talk. I don't want to see his face on the side. I'm sorry, Cody. As if he's ever going to see this. <laughs> She's like, I'm nervous. I'm nervous right now. <laughs> how are you? Yeah, well, yeah, she better be nervous. Yikes. Why would you put an ugly person on this? Got to keep it interesting somehow, I guess. Because you know this dude, I haven't even seen him yet, but he wants to press the button already. I'm so good. This is Satan. Welcome to hell. Oh, no. <laughs> Let's just keep it going. No, I'm playing. This is the button. Welcome. Oh, please flirt now. Emil. Emil. Yeah. Jalian. Jalian. Yes. Pleasure. Okay, go ahead. What, how old are you? 26. How old are you? How old do I look? What is with you bitches? Hi. In the last episode, a girl goes, I love Disney movies. And then I shit on Disney movies even though I was wearing a Mickey Mouse sweater. It was a Kiff sweater, by the way. He goes, oh, what's your favorite Disney movie? She goes, guess. How old do you think I... Bitch, tell me, answer the question. You look like if Dora the Explorer, instead of exploring, just ate snacks. You look 25. Ooh, you about to say, what? I was... You say 25? Bitch, <laughs> what do you think you look like? Why are you acting like this? You acting like a hot girl right now. B's about to press this fucking button. She better not press the button. I don't want to see her on the next date. I don't ever want to see her again, honestly. What what were you about to say? Shut up, bitch. I was about to say 40. Or 35. Well, I said 20. <laughs> you got anything in that stack of papers to chime in at all, buddy? I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe he's not allowed to chime in just whenever he wants. You know, Emil had, uh, had a court date recently. What was that for? A court date? Something he could easily lie about? Do you know how easy it is to get a speeding ticket? Also, what's up with that shirt, guy? I want it. I want to not know who those people are, and I want to wear that shirt. You're a troublemaker! Uh, you don't have to talk about it if you don't want to. No, um, probably, like, a parking ticket? This is so dramatically worse than yesterday's episode, I can't believe it. How did Cody even get that information? This guy willingly went... Oh, uh, yeah, a bad thing about me. I had a court date recently. Yeah. That doesn't sound convincing. <laughs> uh, did you, you ever, you ever been to court? That's what we call a self-aware king right there, callback. But why do you care if you mess up in front of this fucking ogre? This is a test. This is just practice. Now you know not to ask that stupid fucking question to a hot girl. <laughs> you like the gym? <laughs> it was nice to meet it's you. It's okay. That's the fastest she's ever moved. Except when there's like the final piece of pizza in the middle of the table. Did you think they had any chemistry? No. 
No. No. Right? If I was on this show, I'd be like, there's no way he'd like her. Even if she was fun, bubbly, and not a cunt. I feel like they have certain rules. <laughs> I can be nicer, but it's my channel now, so. How are you? It's Bonko, nice to meet you. What's your name? Bonko. Bonko. Yes. Wow, I see you work out. Yeah. yeah. How, how, what, <laughs> wow. They say you shouldn't judge a book by its cover, but it's so accurate all the time. As a man who is trying to get in better shape, I look at him and I go, wow, I'd like to look like that. I'll inject anything. But my real first thought was, wow, this guy's insecure. Wearing booty shorts and a muscle tee. Dude, wear cl you're not at the gym. It's like showing that he has no personality. Let's see if I'm right. What? <laughs> buddy. What do you do? I work as an admin. An admin? Yeah, what do you do? I'm a personal trainer. This guy disgusts me. Obviously, I'm a fucking personal trainer. Yeah, this had sleeves on it before I put it on. Didn't even have to flex to rip it. This is why I never ask people what they do for a living. What do you do for a living? I'm an admin. Are you going to ask me what I do now? I love to work out. Do you work out? <laughs> Dude, she has more body fat on her face than you do on your entire body. You know, do you work out? No, you should. Need a trainer? I'm right here. I'm here to get clients, not dates. Plates, not dates, baby. I do, but you can help me work out a little bit more. I, um, I, boy, you better. Uh, I would, I would. <laughs> get you in shape. Okay, yes, you, but it's okay. No, that's what I need, you. Please. But it's okay. I really shouldn't have worn a black shirt, but right there, ah, oh God, I wanted to fist bump Cody right there. I'm not gonna lie, it made me feel good that we had the exact same reaction. I'm gonna keep it a buck. Okay, yeah. yeah. So, what do you like to do besides workout? Is that all you like to do? No, I like to go to the movies. I like to get a drink sometimes. Why does he think everything he says is sexual? I like to go to the movies. I like to get a drink sometimes. These little subtle cues. Um, I don't like. I would hate to be a woman. One of the things you'd like to do outside of working out is go to the movies. Isn't this guy chock full of personality? Do you guys like smoking weed or what? Do they have like a note card of questions you could be using, Cody, by any chance? Y'all smoke weed? You guys like joints? It's legal. Why would you? So you guys drink alcohol? Yeah, after workout, I can hit a joint. That's what you do after yeah. you work out? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It relaxes oh, the muscles. Yeah. Okay. Is she just so horny that she can't know what to say? You do that after the gym? Yeah. Doesn't that make more sense than smoking before the gym? Jai, what do you think about bald dudes? They're fucking disgusting. Yeah, bald. His bald hair, he got no hair. Boy, how yeah, come I you're should, bald? I, I should... <laughs> you really got him good with that one, Cody. Um, why does she talk like that? Boy, boy, why you got... God dang. I, I just want to see how she sees herself. <laughs> how come you're bald? <laughs> In my culture, everybody's like that. In Bulgaria. All right. Usually guys shave their heads, yeah. He got a lot of muscles, though. Ooh, you look like you can crush something. Yeah, I hope he crushes your fucking windpipe so you can't talk any longer. She's insufferable. But if she was hot, I would be able to live with it. You know, it'd be fine. Yeah. <laughs> of course she's going to press it. This is the most amount of dates she's ever going to get. Guys, don't talk to her. They don't. You think a dude walks up to her in the friend group? She's the type of girl in the friend group who sees a girl talking to a guy, and she's like, no, it's a girl's night. And why did you uh, reject him? He muscular, and he looked at me like he said, oh, she chunky monkey. <laughs> <laughs> it's okay. Yeah, you are a chunky monkey. Are you just becoming aware that you are a fat woman? The way he looked at me, it's like he was judging me. Yeah, that's what we're doing here. You see how you judged him because he was all muscly? Just same thing for you, but opposite. No. <sighs> Jai, what are your red flags? I don't really want guys that smoke, drink, who are full of to themselves. What are you thinking so far? How is this? It's good. It's it's hard. It's really, it takes a while to get used to like the coordination. Paying attention to what they're saying and also trying to figure out like how to, how to butt in, you know? Are you serious? For me, it would be hard to not be chiming in all of the time. Wait, I just noticed that they're not showing like the group reaction of people. Like in the last episode, they showed a group of chicks in one room, a group of guys in one room reacting to what people are saying during their date. I guess if I was the button, I would also want it to be just showing me actually. 
Hello. Hi. What's your name? EJ, how are you? EJ, good. So what's up with your tattoos? Uh, what do you want to know? I see you got multiple? Why are you so shocked by everything about a guy? It's so fake. I do. You got kids? I got two kids. What do you think about kids, Jai? I love kids. I used to work at YMCA. Okay, nice, yeah. nice. Yeah. Is that your real eyes? Uh, maybe. You're lying. If this dude has fake eyes, I'm gonna be pissed. I used to work with an Indian dude who would put in blue contacts. Whenever we would be around a customer, I'd be like, did you know his eyes are real? Yeah. First Indian guy with blue eyes. Natural. Ask him about it. Is it really? I don't know, is it? Contact. The guarantee. Yeah, it is. <laughs> ha! Gay! I'd rather see you wearing lipstick. Also, my eyes are gorgeous. I'm also just scared of putting things in my eyes. I have perfect vision, I think. I used to. It is. Okay. Could you see them matching? Maybe? No, I could see nobody matching with her. She's grotesque. I know, I'm being really mean. I'm talking about her body. Oh, body shaming, she's fat, but she is tr truly rubbing me the wrong way in every way possible. Well, I just keep making fun of her for being fat because of the about for this channel. I'm just being an asshole. But she is actually just a very hard person to even be around through a laptop screen. Imagine her and your group of friends. Boy, you lying. Maybe ask them if they're attracted to each other. Okay. Are you guys attracted to one another? Uh, I can say he's not, but no, yeah, it's okay. Yeah. I said you, you look you like a homie. Yeah, I appreciate like, that. Yes, yeah, appreciate about that life. Yeah. You look like the homie. Nice tactic to try and protect yourself from being friend zoned by him. Friend zone him first. Right. I love how she's like, you know, I could tell he doesn't like me the way I look, and none of them do. Yeah. Oh, damn, I'm slow this time. Let's fucking go. Get that bitch out of here. EJ, nice to I meet you. you. Already. <laughs> was that true? Were you not attracted to her? I uh, was not. Let's go, homie. That's right. Why? Why weren't you attracted to her? Just give us a hint. I appreciate the honesty. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm EJ, by the way. Oh, I'm Shen. Nice to meet you. Woof. Why are the guys hotter than the women? What's going on? Am I gay? I wish, but... Because <laughs> then I could just fuck my guy friends and be such a good time. Hey, you want to play Smash Bros? Yeah, but I'm also kind of horny. Got you. Ugly girl. This is speed dating. Would these guys go on dates with any of these women before this game show? No. Nice to meet you. What do you do for a living? Well, I'm a, I'm a painter. Oh, word, yeah, word, yeah. word, okay. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I bet you don't paint yourself. Maybe you should paint on a better jawline. What are you guys' types? Bruh. These are not good questions. What are your guys' types? Oh, not this. Not her. See, I hate when people ask me that question because my type of woman is hot. Oh, and not a bitch. That's a big caveat. But that's about it. That's about all it takes. Uh, <laughs> someone who's uh, self-aware and taller than me. Uh -huh. EJ, how tall are you? I'm 5'8". Okay. Yeah. How tall is that? Uh, it's 5'8". That's how tall it is. You're going by the metric system? Which one do we use? I don't... Can you not figure that out in your head? Come on. It's math. You've got this. How many inches are in a foot? 12. What's 5 times 12? 60. Why? Because 5 times 2 is 10. You carry the 1, it becomes a 6. And then you add 8 inches! Uh, how tall is that? I'm 5'6". So. Who? Oh boy! Wow! I'm angry. Who? I like a guy who saw, is five eight taller than five six. How does numbers work? I thought six was afraid of seven because seven eight nine. Please, I hope you guys are seeing this the same way I'm seeing this. How do you know your height but not know? What his height means. Most Americans cannot read higher than a sixth grade reading level. Okay, a little bit taller than you. Yeah, Just a, little. a little bit, yeah. Do you want them to like get close and peer into each other's eyes? No. I want this to continue. Hey, Cody, comedian, she just asked what 5'8 means. The dude had to tell her it was taller. She's Asian. 
She's used to knowing what two inches is. <laughs> I can't. That's so fucking funny. I can't. But what's your type? Uh, family oriented. Has to be good with kids. Uh, family oriental. I mean, orient. <laughs> Do you want kids? I have two kids. Okay. Yeah, how about you? Uh, no, I don't have no. any kids. No? Is that is that a red flag that he has kids? A <laughs> red flag. Uh, I don't want kids, so, okay. um... Sounds like a match made in heaven, then. <laughs> <laughs> it's beautiful! Show a picture of your children, and she has to press the button while looking at a picture of your children. <laughs> Wait, that's not fair that she has to press the button based off of the children's looks? That's a bad suggestion that should have been edited out, honestly. In the robot voice, okay, uh, press the button if you don't think his kids are hot. <laughs> EJ, do you think there's any convincing her? That dating a person with kids is actually a good thing? It actually really is, to be honest. Not that it's a good or bad thing, but it's something that you're kind of, I've noticed that I have to kind of deal with, with getting a little bit older in age. I'm 28, right? Bitches be having kids, sadly. I, I, I mean, I feel like for me is a hard like line. <laughs> yeah, okay, go around then. Kids and I have seen Oh my god. <laughs> yes! Another one for the boys. That's how you get them, dude. She was busy explaining something. Nope. Karate chop. Yes. <laughs> it was so nice meeting you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so are you looking for a stepmom or what's good? If the match is right, you know. Are you looking for a stepmom or what's good? Yeah, this is a dating show and he has kids. So yeah. So are you looking to get your dick wet or what? Are you looking for a stepmom for you or for your kids? <laughs> stepmom for me or my kids? Both, I guess, if that's an option. That'd be nice, actually. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Like your hair. Thank you. Nice. They're doing my boys here dirty, dude. Literally, all we need is an ugly white girl, and I think we've hit them all. How long you guys been single for? Oh. <laughs> Ladies first. Uh, two years. Okay. Yeah, how about you? May, since May. That's like four months. Yeah, that? pretty much four months. What happened? Uh, I was getting cheated on. Oh. Yeah. How long were y'all together? Ten months. Yeah, go red. I kind of set myself up there. Oh. oh! Oh my god! <laughs> Is it because he got cheated on? <laughs> Yo, this one sucks compared to last time. Last Yesterday's was so much fucking better. This better get interesting now. Because we're halfway through, and I don't think I can make it. I'm going to be 100% real with you. I think we're going to do one more quick little date before I kill myself. That wasn't a no. <laughs> Why'd you reject him? Uh, it was not my time. Oh, you mean you wanted another date right away? Because you're incentivized to do so. What is your type? What are you looking for? <sighs> That's the question, isn't it? Um, it was. It was the question, in fact. Yeah, and it wasn't rhetorical. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yep. That's why I asked it. <laughs> Thinking on the same wavelength here, Cody. I should have as many subscribers. <laughs> Someone tall? Short guys are cool too, though. I mean. Yeah, they're totally cool for someone who's into that. Why was he putting his hands up in the air like he doesn't know that women prefer a man that's taller than him on average? This is crazy. This fuck. What is she gonna do? Date a nephilim? Those are in the hollow earth with Hitler and dinosaurs. Favorite conspiracy theory. Hi. How are you doing? Good. How are you doing? Fantastic. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it weird how just a gentle touch was aggressive? She's right. What the fuck was that? Oh, hello, milady. That's the handshake a car salesman gives you when you say yes to the deal without haggling. Which name? Uh, my name is Austin. Austin. <laughs> Austin. Button. <laughs> 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 Since um, I'm a comedian and I know what this feels like, um, that dude got a bigger laugh than the comedian that they hired to do the show. <laughs> Cody was laughing, but I'm telling you, that didn't feel good.
You don't want to bomb as the button. <laughs> Anya, how often do you change your hairstyle? Uh, every day. Every day? Uh, mm -hmm. What does that mean? Austin, are you into that? I mean, is that color in it? Are you just doing different No, like, I have a bunch of wigs. Flows? Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Diversitize. Yeah. Shit. What do you know about Austin? He said, it's a red flag. Two frequent haircuts slash style changes. <laughs> Usually indicates that she's a wackadoodle. He used that word? The, the guy on the date said, wackadoodle. It's crazy. That's what I call the time I use when masturbating. I'm just going to go wackadoodle for about an hour. Or two. Kick this guy off the show. Wackadoodle. It's a red flag if she changes her hair color too much. <laughs> yeah. Austin says that it's a red flag. Well, Did this, you really say that? But this is a wig. That's different. Like, it's a little different if you're coloring your hair like every month, but this is a wig. <laughs> <laughs> Laughing like the fucking Grinch who stole Christmas. Jesus Christ. Even though I would have brought it up too, there is a significant difference between just doing this. And spending like 150 plus, I have no idea how much haircuts cost. I'm changing your hair color. <laughs> I promised you under the bus. But what does that say about people if they're coloring their hair every month? Say it. Say it, pussy. Stand on it with 10 toes. Say wackadoodle to this black girl. I dare you. It usually means we're going through some shit. Okay. Through my experience, <laughs> <laughs> they're coloring their hair very often. It's not really. Oh, you were too slow. Too slow shouldn't be a thing. He pressed the button. He fucking pressed it. I don't know why it took him so long. But also, isn't that like a narrative that like I've seen through memes and stuff? Of like, if she's changing her hair color, she's going through things. I wonder how much this guy has personally experienced that. He, he dated one girl who changed her hair a lot and was a crazy bitch. He's like, no, all women are like this. But, uh... We're going to see how this awkwardness ends tomorrow of him being too slow. Now, her knowing he wants this date to end, it has to continue. She has been put in the worst spot possible. Now, it's really all about speed. Who can hit that shit quicker? So far, Cody Ko has not done a good job. I'm going to be real. It was better when we didn't know who the robot was and they did not show them. I'm not saying he's not funny. None of that. I'm sure you guys are fans of him. I'm just saying. His performance was a little subpar. Maybe he'll make a strong comeback in the second half of the game, but I doubt it. Comment down below what you guys think. I think this show is interesting. This one, I think, objectively sucks comparatively. I liked seeing the group of people laughing, seeing with how they're reacting to the date going on. Then you kind of know what's coming up next. And also, these women are fucking ugly, but you're not. Thank you so much for watching and listening everywhere, guys. I appreciate you so fucking much. Yo, did you know that I do stand-up comedy and post every single set on my second channel, youtube.com slash Markarski? I have a series called The Comedian that follows me doing open mics to the fucking top. Like, you get to see open mic one up until, like, April we're posting right now. You get to see how fucking bad it was, and you get to see it evolve. Actually, I think I recall Cody Co saying he tried stand-up a couple of times. I wonder if he still does it. Like, I don't think anybody's ever documented an entire stand-up career before, and I think people might be interested, like, what goes on behind the scenes of stand-up comedy. Like, I show the entire set, then I podcast breaking down how the set went. So if you want to see some shit like that, youtube.com slash Markarski. But if you can or don't want to, I totally understand. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let's keep that algorithm going, baby. I fucking love you guys. Mwah.